I'm just gonna close my eyes and choose a random page. Okay. Oh my god, titties. Big boobs. Hey guys, it's Abdel. So I have Dandelion and it came in today, but there's something weird about it. Like if you look over here, it says Advanced Reader's Edition on sale, 10, 13, 20, which was two days ago? No. Oh, it was seven days ago, my brain. But it says uncorrected, not for sale or quotation. So somehow I have like an earlier version of the book that wasn't really checked, which I don't know is that I ordered it from Amazon. So is everybody just getting this edition? But also like this has every single poem that was supposed to be in the book. I guess maybe there's like grammar errors in there. So I actually haven't read Adult Adolescence by Gabby Hanna. So that's a good thing because I want to read this book with a fresh set of eyes. So let's start with the first poem. <clears throat> Opening it up, it says, well, I don't know how much of this book I can show. Hmm. <laughs> Period. Huh? Period. Okay, so I do like her illustrations a lot. They're very simple. Here we see a dandelion. I'm probably just gonna end up showing her entire book and then I'm gonna get sued. Oopsies. So the first poem, <clears throat> Bloom. I was 26 years old when I saw my first flower and instead of rejoicing in its beauty, I mourned for all the years I was blind. Oh, I do like simple poems like this. To me, this poem, I guess it could have a very specific meaning to Gabby. Like maybe she did see a flower and she's like, I never really looked at flowers before. I do remember once when I was walking, which that's so weird how specific this is to this poem. I was looking at a leaf and I was like, there's like so many little details on it. Like, how come I never noticed it? Like, it truly is so beautiful. And I'm just like, anyways, like, I'm bored. There's so many things that like, you just don't think about. What? So we're starting off strong. I really do like that poem. Also, I'm putting pictures over it, but I know you guys see my dirty kitchen in the background. Like, which I think it's kind of cute, right? There's, no. look, there's a cute little cat towel. I'm a cat person now. I used to be a dog person, but once I got a cat, I turned to a cat person. It's so weird. Do you guys think I should do it like in order or should I just move to right? I'm like gonna read every poem in this book, obviously. Should I just go to a random page and read a poem? Why am I acting like this is Dora? Like you guys are gonna answer me. Hola, should I go through the book or should I go through the pages? Wait, what? I'm just gonna close my eyes and choose a random page. Okay. Oh my God, titties. Huh? <laughs> Oh. Big boobs? What? All right, so this has a picture of saggy boobs. Why am I calling them saggy boobs? Is that offensive? Or right, I'm gonna put a picture of- Can we see if they're saggy? Are they saggy? Yeah. Okay, I asked my sister, who's a girl, if that's offensive to say she has saggy boobs. Look, it's probably rude, but they are saggy. <laughs> okay, I'll still put a picture up for you guys to see, but it's censored because of nipples. This poem is called Fight. <clears throat> are you moving on or just giving up? Maybe they feel similar enough. You can lie to yourself to make it through, but either way, I'm proud of you. Wait, I just read that without like, you know when you read words, but they just you're just reading them without thinking about them? That's what I just did. Let me just read that real quick again. Like, are you moving on or just giving up? Which I guess people don't really think about that. There is a very fine line between you moving on or just to give up and not worry about it but also make yourself feel better by saying, oh, I tried my best, but you're really just giving up. The best way to grow from it is to go through the pain, but people move on from it without really learning from the situation, which is just a defense mechanism. So pretty cute poem. This is, I like Bloom a lot better. So I would give this one six out of 10, maybe. Why am I rating the poems? Like, what is this? It's like 10 p.m. right now and I am drinking coffee because I just got the weirdest crash and I still have homework to do. But to make myself feel better, I'll make it classy. I know this is a wine glass, but I got it for coffee. Like, doesn't coffee look cuter in it? Like, you just feel better drinking from this. I know, mate. It's Tuesday, innit? Like, I feel British after drinking from this. You said Tuesday? It's Tuesday, innit, love? Like, Tuesday. Oh, you never heard of a British person? I, I did, but I just hate the way you said that. Tuesday, innit, love? Okay, the next poem is called Decaf. I put day-old coffee in a plastic travel cup because I can't ask the world for a latte today. Oh. Hmm. Why is it called decaf if you put coffee in the plastic cup? Well, to me, it just seems like a poem about appearing more put together, even though inside you're like worn out. That could be just physically like you didn't sleep that night. It could be you pretending to be happy in front of other people. So that's sad. I still don't get the decaf part. I think that could be a better title. Well, I'm such a critic critiquer. Ooh, I opened up to a poem called Dandelion, which it's so weird. Is it is the center of the book? Like, why is this just a random page of the book? Okay, Dandelion. When I was a little girl. What, is this just the song? 
If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Gabby has a song called Dandelion, which she used to promote this book. And it's literally just the... <laughs> I love that how I started singing it before I realized it was a song. Like, my mind just made that association. Okay, Gabby Stan. Mine. Have you ever looked at lyrics and you tried to read them as if you didn't know the song already? And it's so weird because you're like, how would I read this if I didn't know the song? Because my mind automatically just goes to the melody of the song and it's doing that now. I'll play a little snippet of the song. I don't know if I'll get copyrighted. When I was a little girl, my mama said to me, I'm gonna just read it in a British accent. Maybe that'll refresh my brain, which I'll probably start singing in British. I thought it was impossible to sing in British because you know, British singers sing in American accents. Except that M to the B, M to the B, M, 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 M to the B girl. Is that some British? Yeah, she talks like, if you don't know me, I'm M, M to the B, B coming in hard, you better cut. Like, that sounds British, but if you hear Harry Styles. She's like talking though. Yeah, she's like rapping, but Harry Styles is like, Tastes like strawberries. Like, that just sounds American. When I was a little girl, <laughs> I can't even talk in British. When I was a little gal, <laughs> how do you say girl in British? Gal, gal, yeah. right? When I was a little gal, my mama, <laughs> I'm just gonna read it. When I was a little girl, my mama said to me, what's your favorite flower, darling? I'll get you the seed. I said, dandelion, dandelion, that one's so pretty. She said, ciao. Um, ciao, anyway, so. That one's not a flower, that one's just a weed. I still love those mellow yellow petals anyway. What's that thing they say about a rose by any other name? Then my fragile flower turned into a ball of gray. So I took a breath and made a wish and blew them all away. I couldn't do it. I couldn't read it normally. To me, this is about childhood innocence. Like when you're a kid, you have these ideas about the world and your environment, like your family, your parents, things you watch just influence your ideas. But I do think there's some rebellion in here too when she says, I still love those mellow yellow petals anyway. After her mom tells her like, child, that's not a flower, that's a dandelion, idiot. Like, it's an ugly weed. She's like, oh, I still like it. And then at the end of it, there's sort of like giving into it at the end. My fragile flower turned into a ball of gray. You've held on to these ideas as long as you can, but they just... All right, I think I'm gonna do one more poem. Okay, so for this one, I want this to be interactive. So I'm gonna be Dora, and you guys tell me when to stop. <clears throat> Hola, soy Dora. Tell me when to stop, senoritas y guapo amigos. Did you say stop as soon as I stopped? Because if you did, psychics. <clears throat> okay, there's two poems on this page. There's one called Closure and there's one called Gemini. Okay, let's do the Dora thing again. Let's see if we're psychics. Hola, soy Dora. Should I read Closure or should I read Gemini? Did you say Closure? I miss the feeling of missing you, but I'll probably stop missing me missing you too. Child, my brain is too small for this. I miss the feeling of missing you, but I'll... This is gonna be flashbacks to when I tried to memorize. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peck. I miss the feeling of missing you, but I'll probably stop missing me missing you too. Tell me what this poem means to you. I think it's basic. <laughs> I think it's basic. Yeah, this is one of the more basic ones I feel like surface level. Like eventually the thing that made her miss the person, the same energy will make her miss the feeling of missing the person. Basically time heals everything or time fades everything. Okay, you simplifying her poems. <laughs> That's what it means. Uh, she wrote it cutely, but... This was fun to do actually, and I am looking forward to reading you guys' opinions and comments on the poems. Yum. This coffee is really delicious. Tuesday, in it, love? Chippery, choop, choop. All right, thank you guys for watching, and I'm probably gonna go do my dishes now, and then do homework, and then sleep. What should I title this video? Um, reading Gabby Hanna's book. Just reading Gabby Hanna's book? Yeah, I mean, what else are you gonna Somebody do? teach this little girl about clickbait. Ciao. Let's try this again. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Like <laughs> hey, sister, what should I title this? Hi, Abdel. <laughs> <laughs> Why should I title this video? Reading a book called Dandelion. <laughs> Reading Gabby Hanna's horrible poetry book. <laughs> People who click on this because they think it's a hate video against Gabby Hanna are going to be so shook. They're going to be like, who's this little crackhead rat looking loser in his kitchen analyzing Gabby's poetry and not dragging her? The audacity. Reading Gabby Hanna's book. Ciao. No, no. <laughs> Reading Gabby Hanna's poetry. Ciao. Ta da da da. <laughs>